Let's go to Dallas and Boston first, Joe. Of course, game one of the NBA Finals is tomorrow night, finally, in Beantown. Uh, and Luka Doncic, uh, of course, we'll do the zinger first here, Joe. The zinger, Kristaps Porzingis, is going to be back for Boston. He has not played since early in round number one. Uh, he has been injured. He's been resting, but he is ready to go now. Uh, and he's got some history, as we know, with Luka and the Mavericks. We've talked a lot about Kyrie's history with Boston. What about KP's history with Dallas? Here is the zinger. I think he's going to be great. Um, oh, great. He's played there Look for two and a half years. And, huh? and uh, yeah. I'm happy for, for everybody in Dallas. Yeah, in you're way, so you know? happy. Man. Uh, a lot of like, great relationships I have there. And, yeah, yeah, you, you send them roses. Um, and yeah, and I cannot say, like, I think, I think they deserve to, to, you know, to have some success like, they, like they've had this season. Um, and it's going to be it's going to be fun going up against my old team, going back to Dallas, uh, playing some games there. So uh, looking forward to it. Yeah. OK, I it, hope we Joe. smash him. Smash him. That's a P.J. Washington. Get a body on it. Smash him. I, I can't stay. I can't say he's a such a nice guy. Well, if, if Dallas is so great, then stay there. Why would you want to go to Boston? You played your way right out of right out of Dallas well, into Dallas, Boston. To be fair, to be fair, uh, Joe. Here we Dallas, go. No, 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 no. Dallas ran. You know, they they got they ran him out. He didn't want to be there probably, but they. I mean, they sent him to Washington of all places. I mean, that is the last place but, you want to go. Uh, in the NBA, it wasn't so. like he was lighting it up in Dallas, though, Carver. I mean, he was the best player. Well, he had the same attention. problems he's had everywhere. He don't play enough. That was his problem in Dallas. He never played. That, that was well, hire a reason. different trainer. Whose problem is that? Now, the stories have, like, once again, have been kicked around this week about how him and Luca didn't get along, right? Him and Luca didn't get along. Luca said yesterday that's completely not true. I don't know why anybody would think that. I got along with him just fine. I got no problems with, uh, with KP. Me and KP are tight. Um, believe that for whatever you want, uh, Joe. But here is Luca. Not talking about that, but talking about his Maverick team uh, gelling together here in the spring and getting themselves to an NBA Finals. I always had that 2022 20, run. You know, we had great chemistry. And we stayed together. And I feel the same, th same thing with this team. You know, we've been together for like five months, four or five months, and we made the NBA Finals. Uh, you know, like I said, it's been really hard. It ain't over uh, yet, Luca. But, Don't you know, start, like you I know, said, we fighting. deserve this. Job and ain't done our chemistry is great, and we stay together. You know, why sudden, are you getting on him? He's, uh, he's going to carry us home, Joe. Why are you getting uh, on no, Luka? Kyrie's going to carry us home. home. Doc, Kyrie's going to carry us home. All of a sudden, you he's, uh, he looks like bright lights, big city. How we made it to the NBA Finals. That's only half the battle. you got to win it now, guy. Jay, ask Jason Tatum how it's like. You know, he's still trying to win something. Uh, two players have averaged 30 or more points per game in the NBA playoffs throughout their career. Michael Jordan and Luka Doncic uh, have averaged 30-plus points in their playoff career. Luka is 9-1 to one to score 30 or more in every game. Now, me and you have that, Joe, for Kyrie for 25 to score in every game. Luka 9-1 to one to score 30 in every no. game in this series. No. And I, I, I hope he no. doesn't even come. To, no, I, I, I don't even want him to sniff that. I, obviously, we need the Mavericks to win. But we need Kyrie to be the guy. I want Kyrie to average 33 a night. 33 a night, Kyrie. If uh, Dallas wins and it's because of Luka, you'll be okay too, Joe. Just, I'm just saying. You'll be all right as long as Dallas wins. I know that you're loaded up with a lot of Kyrie stuff, but we all, our main objective is getting Dallas across the line, isn't it? Isn't that our main objective here in these NBA finals? A quarter of, uh, that's a quarter of the work. Well, I mean, so we, we no. have to cap. That'd be a no. Joe's, well, it's, uh, it's... Joe's... No. He well, wants the Kyrie I want, stuff. That's I it. want Kyrie, Kyrie MVP stuff. at 24 yeah. to 1. Yes, I want Kyrie to have, I have Kyrie for, for game one, 40 plus to, uh, tomorrow night. Yes, 40 plus. I think it's 25 to 1. Uh, this has not changed as I didn't think that it would. Six and a half and two fourteen and a half. That is for tomorrow night, finally game number one. Series has not changed either, Joe, uh, at this point, uh, as they're still going uh, minus 225 and plus a buck 80 
for the Mavs. Uh, we said last night, and I was saying to Coach before, uh, the exacta uh, Dallas and six, which is at, I believe, uh, plus correct series result. Dallas and six, plus 400 now. I got it at five last week. It's plus 400, Joe. That's not bad. I like Dallas and six. I think that's it. Uh, again, I, I know that in the regular season, Jalen Brown and Tatum made against Luke and Kyrie, but now all the chips are in the middle of the table. And I sort of like Jason Kidd in terms of Missoula. You know, we don't bring that up, I don't think, enough. And I know Missoula, you know, beat Indiana. But, you know, there were some games he was a little spot. No, uh, okay, all right. You, you're going to shake what? your head no. No. Well, uh, here's, here's why. Come here's on. why. And it's, it's a similar thing as what I – uh, kind of what I brought up with you with yesterday with what was it Skinner we were talking about the yeah, Skinner goal. after the first series the second but, series the problem was why. they weren't tested in the first three series yeah but but I thought that he would get severely out coached by Carlisle in the Indiana series because Carlisle obviously been around a very long time he's won an NBA title I thought that he would run circles around Missoula and it was actually Joe precisely the opposite. I thought that Carlisle did a bad job, uh, especially late in the game in that series. And Missoula, now maybe he was just autopilot, Joe, and he didn't have to do much, and Carlisle made the mistakes. If you want to say that, uh, that's fine too. I don't think there's that big of a gap between, in the coaching aspect, between Jason Kidd and Joe Missoula. And I also don't think coaching means as much, Joe, in this league, in this championship series, as it does in maybe some others. I don't think it's that big of a deal. Uh, you got you got the blueprint already uh, written out. I mean, uh, you know, yeah, there you go. Play, you got, Joe. You got the, you got the answers to the test. I mean, why even more take it? More in the it, NBA it, than it, anywhere it, else. I think I, it matters more in the NFL. You it were matters bashing more maybe Missoula. In... You were bashing Missoula for how long? All right. So now well, that but... we... I, I was... The way that he outcoached Carlisle in the last series was impressive. I thought they. Yeah, I, I, I thought I thought those players for Indiana were gutless. How about that? They were gutless. That's that's another way that you could look at it. I thought they were pretty gutless as well. Uh, once they lost Carlo that overtime game, they the were deer in the headlights. Big mistakes. Right. The mistake, uh, big deer. mistakes, but the players caved after game one. You know that. I think the coach means the least in the NBA. The least. I, I think having having star players in the NBA. Uh, is more important than the, having a star coach, as far as I'm concerned. 